Hey everybody, Mike Mags of the Mags Golf Academy here at the Golf Club at Terra Lago in Indio, California. Beautiful afternoon, middle of December. Today I'm going to be talking about controlling the club face through the impact zone. We're going to actually hold the club way down here and I'm going to tell you why we're going to do that. What I see with most of the students that come to me at first is they don't know how to control the club face, even though their subconscious is trying to do so. What will happen is a lot of folks have heard we need the shaft to be leaning forward when we hit the ball. But as they do that, they're not really using their hands or their rotation of their body correctly, so they end up pushing their hands ahead, but you can see the club face is way out to the right. So they hit it to the right, hit it to the right, hit it to the right, do that a few times and they start to then make a correction, which I see as the fall back or the lift up or my favorite, the duck and dive. Okay, none of those are gonna actually get you to compress the ball which means we're going to strike the ball first, take a divot after with the shaft leaning forward, using our body to actually hit down into the ball. You can see we're actually de-lofting the club as well. So I have a five iron here. We're turning the five into a four. What most people do is they're flipping. They're turning the, for this example, a five into a six. So they're not going to hit as far. It's going to scoop and go really high. So what we want to do is understand how our body works and also what the club face is doing. So we're actually going to grip it all the way down at the end of the club, just like that, so we know exactly what that club face is doing. You can see the shaft is gonna go off to the left side for the right-handed player, okay? And as we get into our setup, you'll notice I have a, a bit of a setup here. I have a alignment stick on the ground and a tee about two and a half, three feet behind the ball. And that's just gonna give us something to point to with the butt end of the club. So as we get into setup, you'll notice that the shaft is coming right through my belt line which is representing where it would be, the butt end of the club pointing right at the belt buckle if I was in my normal setup. The size of the swing that we're gonna do is a punch shot. We're gonna take it back halfway, arm parallel to the ground, and we're gonna come through, square the face, and point at our target, our belt buckle, our chest, our eyes, and the club are all gonna be pointed at the target, the toe of the club, the toe and the heel. The toe is gonna be straight up and down, just like so. And the butt end of the club you can see is gonna point right at about belt level. Okay, right at the waist. So again, a punch shot here, but we're gonna do it by holding the end of the club just like this. Okay, just like so. So let's take a look at our setup and how that was gonna work. Okay, so we have the ball, get ourselves lined up, and we're gonna go ahead and set it up with the shaft going right through my belt line. And as I go back, you can see I'm gonna point the butt end of the club right at the tee that's on the ground. And then I'm gonna shift into my front heel and I'm gonna start turning my body and I'm gonna square this club face. Now you'll notice when what happens when we just come in and we don't square, you see the hands aren't working properly. But you can see if I bow that wrist, look at the face square for you. So we're gonna get this look where the wrist is a little bit bowed, the right palm or the back palm is gonna be facing the ground a little bit. And we'll notice that the handle is not touching at us. We're not flipping, we're de-lofting that club and squaring the face and gonna come around to here. So when we're doing this drill, what I want you to do First of all, get it down to where you can do it, where we're gonna be right here, point the butt end of the club at the T, square the face, weight on the front leg, keep turning, shaft on the belt line. Get to where you can do this, stop here, see the face, come through, and get to where you can just come right through that spot. Once you can come through and square the face, then you go ahead and do two of holding the club face, and then one, of trying to mimic that same movement, but with the club in the proper position in our hands. So two holding the club face, one hit, two holding the club face, one hit, and just do that over and over and over. Another great thing you can do is do this at home where you're gonna look at the mirror. So we'll say the camera is the mirror. You can watch the club face start here, point the butt end, come in, square the club face. You see the wrist bows a little bit, and then we finish with turning the body. Okay, and then I like this one where it's a face on so we can really see what the club face looks like. We're going to come back. You can see the angle of the shaft. You can see the shaft go off a little bit to the left and away from me and the face square, which leaves my wrist bowed. And then when we finish, the belt buckle, the chest, the eyes are all going to be pointing right back at yourself in the mirror. So practice that. It'll take a little time to get the hands going, but once you do, you'll really be able to feel what's happening through the fastest part of your swing, which is extremely important. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thank you.